This is the last day of 2012, and next year could see some significant changes. Even though some of these changes will affect the province as a whole, the impact could be felt here in our region even more. May 14th will be a pivotal day in the coming year. That's when British Columbians will head to the polls in the next provincial election. What happens once those polls close is anyone's guess. A lot will depend on Christy Clark now and her ability to, to kind of rally her base and, and, to, and, and to get, you know, sort of attract people back to the Liberal cause. I expect what you'll see in, in the coming months is uh, more attack-like ads which uh, focus more on the NDP. The most direct form of government for the average Prince George taxpayer is City Hall. It too is facing a tough year for decision making. I think one of the key things we're going to be facing is the final uh, decisions around the core review and seeing what that looks like as we bring that forward. Uh, the other challenge we're going to be looking for is how do we properly address our core infrastructure. Uh, we saw the challenges last year with road rehabilitation. I suspect that that'll be a continuing and ongoing problem that we'll see again this year. On an up note, the new RCMP building is expected to be complete in 2013, with the new detachment up and running later in the year. But what is more concerning to municipal officials isn't above ground, it's what's below. There have been calls to the federal government from communities of all sizes for a renewal of the Build Canada Fund for infrastructure works. Those efforts are being stepped up in the coming year. We're asking people to actually write their MPs and say that, look, uh, municipalities can't handle the infrastructure deficit that they have right now, that they need the partnership with the federal government uh, to be able to actually address that shortfall. So we're looking at uh, people that actually write into their MPs and let them know that, you know, this is a core issue for them or a key issue for them and that they want the federal government to actually continue to participate with municipalities. The Enbridge hearings will continue until May on the proposed Northern Gateway Pipeline. There's uh, such a, a constituency of people who are adamantly opposed to it. Uh, there's a, a group of, of uh, communities, I think, who are still sitting on the fence, still unsure about what the benefits are. Um, you've got people like the Premier saying to Alberta that we need more of the, the resource revenues. In terms of the region's financial picture, that depends a great deal on what happens to global markets, particularly Asia, for BC's resources. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.